Anthony Butler is Chief Medical Officer at a bioimaging company at the University of Canterbury in New Zealand. Anthony Butler first visited CERN in 2007 when he was collaborating with the CMS experiment and Medipix. Medipix is a powerful and extremely accurate X-ray detector that CERN developed in collaboration with institutes around the world. The sensor, originally designed for tracking applications in high energy physics, turned out to be a powerful tool for imaging technology, in particular that which is used in medical imaging. We started working with CERN on detector technologies around 2007 and through our relationship with CERN um, we've been able to build up a medical imaging industry in New Zealand. Indeed, soon after his first visit to CERN, Anthony Butler returns to New Zealand to set up a bioimaging company in his hometown, Christchurch. Today, 10 years after Anthony's initial visit to CERN, MARS spectral scanners based on the Medipix 3 chip enable researchers and clinicians to measure biochemical and physiological processes in specimens and animal models of disease. They're the first scanners to provide colour X-ray images. But, going back to the early days, what was it that Anthony found so inspiring at CERN? I guess there's several things that I, I learned from being here. Um, the first, it was when I first arrived, it was a fantastic academic network. Um, people were full of ideas and enthusiasm, and it was really um, almost like coming to a university on steroids. It was just so stimulating, I, I loved it. Um, and then I guess as I, as I progressed through my time here, um, it was the networks with the, um, other universities around the world, other researchers, and being able to see the cutting edge of, of where technology is going. Because people were so full of ideas, so much collaboration, um, everyone was looking for the, the answers to problems and posing new and difficult questions and imagining where the future could be. And part of it's the personality. The people who come here are just are obviously loving it and enjoying it. Um, so it's a combination of those two things. For the past several years, Anthony has been commuting from New Zealand to CERN, which has brought him to change seasons many times in the year. However, the network of friends and colleagues he would find at CERN made it worth the trouble. And now, even if he doesn't travel so frequently anymore, Anthony can stay in touch with all of them thanks to the CERN alumni network, which he joined as soon as it was launched in June 2017. The reputation of CERN in the science community is amazing. And so actually to be able to say you've, you've been here and been part of it is really exciting. You know, that, that's I guess where the pride comes in. Um, I guess the, there's the, the sense of what do I get out of it or could get out of it is the, the connection with all these people around the world. Um, coming from a country like New Zealand, international connections are actually quite hard to establish, but by having a relationship with CERN and the alumni network, that's now going to be a worldwide network of people. I mean, really, you, at, at your time at CERN, you'll meet so many people from so many places who are going to go off and do so many amazing things. And if you stay in contact with them, um, you've got this network of people to ask questions and help and support you. Stay in contact. Mm -hmm.